class. We're back here in another creative fun day. What we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to do bubble art. So that's why I'm here drying my face and I'm going to explain it, everything how it's done. So for bubble art, you're going to need a bowl. If you have plastic, it will be better just in case you have an accident. You're going to need food coloring. I got this at uh, Walgreens. They're cheap. If you don't have this and you have like watercolors or any like little bit of tempera, that will work. And uh, if you also don't have any of these, you don't have to make bubble art. I just want to show you how to do it. Um, you're also going to need soap. You're going to need a straw and some water. And of course, we're going to need a paper so that way we can do our project. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to dump the water into our bowl. And we're going to put some soap to make all those nice and bubbles. And since we're going to do an otter project, it's like a water otter project, so we're going to get the ah, balloon. Get it open. There you go. Okay. We're going to put some blue foot coloring and we're going to mix. We're going to mix the water and the bubbles. Now, very important, you're going to blow on the straw and you're not going to get anything into your mouth because this is toxic. So everything that you're going to do is you're going to blow to make those big bubbles. So we're going to try. is we're going to mix it very good try to get the paint on those bubbles and we're going to pop the, bu the bubbles into our paper we're going to do this a couple times until you have nice and blues on your piece of paper you're gonna let them pop We can do this with different colors. It's kind of light, but it has some blues on it. Okay, this is going, we're going to do this until you're satisfied with your paper. If you decided to make the bubble art for this project, then just let it dry and follow the next drawing steps for the other part of the project.
As soon as your bubble art is dry, cut it in a circle if it's your choice, of course. And whenever you're finished as well with the tutorial of the drawing of the otter and the lilies, then all what you have to do left is just to glue them. So I'll add a little bit of glue. the lilies. And there you have it. This will be a great gift for Mother's Day or for a birthday or Father's Day. And what you can do is you can add like a heart or you can add whatever you want in the middle. As you can see in this one, I add a heart, but it, you can be as creative as you want. Remember, you don't have to use the same material that I use on my tutorials. Just be resourceful and then look around what you have at home to create your beautiful masterpieces. And I'll be waiting for you for next class. Have a wonderful day.